Light that on fire. Maybe this will scare it away. Oh, it's a it's a mutant pig. Let's load that weapon. And what? My phone's going crazy over here. What do you want? I'm in a cave. <laughs> Call back later. And watch your footing. Ah! Holy smokes, that guy came out of nowhere. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Islands. Just a simple wave today. No Macarena, no Gangnam, none of that nonsense. There's no time for dancing. We got some explore. Hey! What? You want me to dance, don't you? I'm not gonna dance, but I will let you back up. Check out this brazier I made. I always want to say brazier. It's not a brazier. <laughs> That's something that people wear. Uh, this is actually a brazier. And it's just a little bit of iron. It was very cheap to make. It does not require any fuel. But it does, um, it does require a relighting every once in a while. And it's not protected from the rain. But other than that, it's pretty cool. And uh, I also made this. The lantern that never runs out of fuel. And uh, it does, it is protected from the rain. So you can walk around with this in the rain on like a torch, say. So yeah, I love this game. It's got so much. It's got everything that you want in a sandbox survival game. With exploration and discovering new things. And all the different biomes, lots of variety. The crafting is amazing. And there's so many little details like that. With the storm putting out fires and stuff. Oh, I just love it. Uh, anyway, so I have been playing quite a bit off camera. And I want to show you guys what I have collected here for our boat. Because I know in the last episode I mentioned we are going to make that large ship. So check it out. I've got almost 300 nails. I've got lots of logs and planks and rope. And some saws here. Cloth for the sails. And 184 iron ingots. Which we don't need for the actual ship. But I did remember all that iron we went out and got. And I, I smelted it all into iron ingots. So we're going to, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be rolling in the iron here pretty soon. All kinds of iron tools and stuff to make this. Iron iron furniture, it is amazing. Amazing. We have barely scratched the surface here. So today, however... Oh, wait. <laughs> i got to show you this thing. It's an oyster trophy. That's, yes, it's a literal trophy that you put on the wall. I didn't have a wall here, so I stuck it on the rock. And that's an oyster in it. I found oysters in the water. So we're, well, I have an oyster right here. Where's my oyster? Check it out. You can break them open. You don't even have to use anything. You just break them open like that and you get oyster meat. And of course you eat oysters raw. Right? Oh, where is it? Where's my meat? Oyster meat. You can just right click and puts it in your hand. Mmm. I just wish I had a little hot sauce. I bet this game has hot sauce. If it doesn't, please add hot sauce. It will eventually if it doesn't now is my guess. So there we had some oyster meat. Fresh and raw right out of the sea is absolutely delicious. Oh, aloe vera leaves. Yeah, we're going to break these down. I searched far and wide for these because we need aloe vera to bring with us. Because I don't think wherever we're heading will have any of this. So, oh, how many seeds do I have? 18 seeds. Oh, that's good. Because it's pretty rare. It took me a long time to find it. And today, as I was saying, uh, we're not going to sail today. We are going to explore. Let me show you how much I have explored so far takes a second for the map to um, populate there but yeah so there's still a little fog here in the center that I haven't seen yet but I haven't circumvented the entire island yet I was thinking maybe we can do that on the ship before we leave but I did find a couple of cool little things here there's something over here I want to show you maybe it's not right there I can't tell but uh, yeah I found a cave and I think we should go in the cave now that we have our lantern and there's all cool kinds of cool stuff down there I didn't actually do any exploration in the cave I just looked in and walked in for a bit and then I walked back out figuring that we would do that together and check out my coral over here it's like coral steps isn't that wicked oh and I made a uh, paper press too so you make paper with this and then you can take the paper and you can write on it and leave notes and stuff so that note right there uh, do I have to pick it up yeah well I would leave a note for someone in multiplayer but it does say uh, gone fishing <laughs> And then you need writing utensils for that. So I put some writing utensils here. And we'll throw some paper in there too. In case someone comes by and visits. I know this is only a single player. But I am working on a multiplayer server. Um, I'm just waiting for my my partner, Creeper Host, to get back to me. With whether or not they're able to host this game. So they're looking into it. And then um, and then hopefully we can get that done. And, we can, um, and then we can do some multiplayer. I've got a whole bunch of people lined up to play with. So, all right, I think we're ready to go, right? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, we got some space for any cool stuff that we happen to find on the way. I'm not going to bring Jasper the horse because he still doesn't know how to stand still. 
and he just gets in the way. So sadly, we're going to have to leave him behind. But I'm going to show you a couple of things, and then we're going to get down into that cave if I can find it again. I do wish we could put waypoints on the map. That would be super helpful. And the game is a... Uh, open it up. The game is a um, early access game, so my guess is waypoints will be added sometime in the future. Oh, it looks like I chopped down a very large tree here. <laughs> Left a bunch of pieces. Okay, I found it. Check this out, guys. This was literally just built here. Someone had to go to the bathroom really badly. And they wanted privacy, apparently. So they built themselves an outhouse. Actually, they built two. Uh, a double-decker. <laughs> Check it out. They call it a latrine. And there's a banana tree growing. Oh, black cowboy boots. Somebody took off their boots to go to the bathroom and they left them here. I didn't see those here last time, but there's also a banana tree in here. All right, grab them cowboy boots. Those are cool. Uh, and I want to grab the bananas, too. Grab those bananas. <laughs> Check it out. You can sit here. Oh, I just got the painting. The struggle. Oh, yeah, it might have been a struggle. Sometimes it's a struggle, isn't it? Uh, sit on the latrine. There we go. Hey, close that door, would you? Do you mind? A little privacy? It's first person. Can I close the door in first person? Oh, oh I got up. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It's a latrine. And there's uh, two. Just in case there's two people and you gotta go. You can't wait for someone else, right? I grab that painting. Eagle Owl, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, I love these kinds of things that you find in this game. Right? And grab that lantern. We might need it. Two lanterns better than one. When we're going underground and now you're hungry. Okay, that's okay because we have lots of food. I've been doing a lot of hunting, too. We have um, Brontosaurus Haunch, right? Let's have a couple of these. They'll fill you up, right? Not hungry anymore. I didn't think so. And how about a banana? Uh, well, let's eat the melons. Can I eat some melons? We can. You can actually stuff your belly a little bit more, even though it says you're not hungry anymore. Just keep eating until, it, until you stop. Now, I'm going to hang out of those bananas because I think we're going to leave a trail of bananas. Some people leave trails of bread crumbs. Bread crumbs? Bread crumbs? But uh, Punchwood here, the, the the Mad Viking, leaves a trail of bananas. <laughs> he is bananas after all, isn't he? Grab those bananas, Punchwood. Oh, look at this. I didn't see this either. See, this is what I'm talking about. Let's get a close-up look here in first-person mode. There's a plank. Someone stuck a plank in the ground, which you can do with a simple plank. That's amazing. And put a bird banter painting on top of it. That is excellent, which we can steal. And there's a wooden chair here and a book on the chair. Uh, we can sit on the chair, but can I grab the book? Hey, get up! Oh, it's so cozy and comfortable. That's a nice chair. Uh, I can't seem to get the book, though. I guess we don't need it. Now, what is that down there? Oops. Eh? That is yellow dye. Yeah, we can make dye. I'm not I'm not too concerned about dyes. Um, not yet, anyway. I'm not really into the painting. Oh, let's grab the whole painting kit. There we go. It's pristine painting kit. Are you kidding me? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I love finding this stuff out here. This is all just procedurally generated, so it's just random. Randomly selected from a big pile of, of just these scenes. Um, it's so cool. Yellow dye I can make my own, so I'm not going to bother with that. Right, let's grab one batch of more bananas here. And he Oh, here's a cave? Oh, this isn't even the cave. That I was thinking of. That's a different. This is a different cave. So uh, let me see if I can find it on the map. Where are we? All right, we're right there. Let's try to remember that. I got it on camera, so I can always find it later if we ever decide to come back. But the other cave that I found was down here in these mountains. This is a completely different cave. Before we go in, I'm gonna make a wicker basket. Any rope and sticks, easy peasy. We'll put it right here outside and open it up. Open it up, and I'm going to dump in some of the stuff that we just collected, like the paintings and the cowboy boots and the pristine um, painting kit and that painting right there, the magic blossom. Oh, why am I carrying all this leather? I should have left that at home. But yeah, I want to leave some space open in my inventory here so that we can, uh, we can toss some other stuff in here if we find anything cool inside this cave. So yeah, that ought to do. That should be plenty of spaces. All right. In we go. And it's kind of light right here. Oh, cave fern. That's new. Oh, it just gives you grass. All right. Well, I don't really need the grass. So let's drop that. And if you want to drop a whole stack, you hold down left control. 
and then it asks how much. All of it. Thank you. All right, let's get our bananas ready so we can start dropping bananas. Uh, well, we can just right click on that. I don't think we need them now. Oh, we do. Well, we don't need them here because obviously there's only one tunnel. Now, there are bad things in these caves, as far as I know. Oh, glowing mushrooms. Oh, those are great. I'm going to bring some of those home. Maybe we can put them at, uh, in a garden or something. Do they? Do, will they grow after they're plucked? I don't know. And do they give you seeds? They don't, do not give you seeds, but I'll carry some. Well, let's just try right now and see if I can put them down in put-down mode. Yep, you sure can. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this game has a little of everything. It's so amazing. All right, let's put the bananas back in the hand. I wish I could carry the light and banana in... Uh, a light in one hand and a banana in the other. Oh, this is a different kind of mushroom. Cave mushroom. These don't grow, but I'm going to grab them. A few of them. Maybe we can eat them and make a stew out of them or something. But I'm definitely going to grab all the glowy ones. We can make an awesome garden with glowing mushrooms, huh? So, as I was saying, there are mutant animals down here. What is that? That's just like roots and stuff, right? So, we have to be cautious. And you know what I'm thinking? Uh, can I drop one stick? Just drop one stick. And then light it on fire. Now, that'll light this area up. And we can... Whoa, that's loud. Sometimes you can just light the stuff right on the walls on fire. But it doesn't look like I can get to those roots. Yeah. Hopefully that, that can stay lit long enough. We can find our way back that way as well. Alright, we've got enough of those other mushrooms, but I still want the glowies. I have a bunch of these, because you can't grow them, right? And can I burn cave mushrooms? Nope. Okay. This is just one simple tunnel, so we can't really get lost here. Right? <laughs> Alright, this is fine. This is fine. It's all fine. I see something up ahead. It could just be a mushroom. Another glowy mushroom. What is that? Yeah, just a glowy mushroom. Boy, it's really tight in here. Let's go first person mode. Oh, yeah. That's immersion. <gasps> what is this? Oh, a basic repair kit. This is down. Hello? There's something there. There's something there. Hold on, light a, light a fire. Ah! It's shooting at me! I think it's shooting at me. Light that on fire. Maybe this will scare it away. Oh, it's a, it's a mutant pig! Like I said, there are mutants down here. Hey, you little mutie! How tough are you? I'll just shoot you. Alright, that's one crossbow bolt. That's so many bolts now. Crossbow bolts. All right, they're not too tough. About as tough as their counterparts on the surface, I suppose. Yeah, it's just a mutant boar. It didn't drop any meat, but then again, I don't think we'd want to eat that darn thing. Oh, these mushrooms only stack in twos? Those aren't the glowy kind. The glowy kind actually stack. All right, well, that's neat. Anyway, let's get back to it here. So we found a basic repair kit, which you can use to repair broken tools and stuff. And there's a flintlock musket. I didn't even see that until now. I'm such a fool. So we have a repeating rifle and bullets, and um, this requires musket balls. Change the skin? Are you serious? Wait, you can change this? No way! Oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> that is wicked. All right, maybe you can add your own skins, or people can make skins, like on the Steam Marketplace or something like that. Change the skin of our repeating rifle. Oh, that looks more like a repeating rate. Purchase? Maybe there's more you can purchase or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's not worry about that. We have a cave to explore. We're not done here. There is a crate. And it's got... Oh, musket balls. Of course. Do they stack? Yes, they do. I'm going to drop these cave mushrooms. Yeah. Not really. Wow. That was spooky. Probably going to have to drop some of my bananas, too. Um, I say we use this flintlock musket... Instead of... Well, let's put it here. We don't need an axe down here, probably. I think we should try it. And what is, it, what is in this barrel? Why did it make such a noise? Oh, I must have removed the top. There's a mushroom stew in here! <laughs> a cave mushroom. And a cave mushroom. So just, so just two different 
species of cave mushrooms here. Oh, it's raining. It's actually a spooky, spooky sound, isn't it? What is that way back there? Gunpowder keg! We can ignite it! All right, I don't want to ignite it. I want to pick it up. Do not ignite it. We have gunpowder kegs. Are you kidding? This is amazing! Oh, this game just gets better and better. Let's load that weapon. And what? My phone's going crazy over here. What do you want? I'm in a cave. <laughs> Call back later. <laughs> I can't see anything. I wish I could, like, throw a torch up ahead or something. Now, did we get everything? I feel like I missed something back here. I don't think so. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's keep moving on. Moving on. There's light at the end of this tunnel. And I'm going to pick up these guys. What is that? A, lo this is a log stool just sitting down here. That seems like a glitch because there's like stone steps here as well. Um, I'm going to drop. Can I, just, how, can I drop one stick from my hand? I guess not. So the way to do this is yeah, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. We really need a faster way to light things, I think. Oops. Or throw, like, a light stick up ahead. It sounds like somebody's shooting something at us. Oh, look at the shadow on the wall. Ah, oh, stalactites! Cool! Can I take one? I don't think so. I can whack it. I don't want to whack it. I don't want to whack it. What is that? What? I hear foots. That might be on the surface, I think. Or maybe that's just the fire. Check out the blue crystal! Crystal cord. Oh, we're taking all that. I hear something skittering. Got it! Oh, fall back! To the fire! That could be like a spider or something. Show yourself! I hear ya! Alright, I don't see him. Oh, I hear some growling! Oh, I fell! <clears throat> Holy cow! Get up, fool! <laughs> I don't believe I fell! Treat my wounds, quick! Yeah, pull my finger! That's what he's doing right now. He's pulling his fingers. The whole most funniest way to bandage yourself. Most funniest way. Uh, we fell down a hole. Oh my gosh. This is why you don't walk down a dark tunnel, guys. That was very, very foolish of me. Rookie mistake! And now I don't even see where we came from. But we survived. That is the key. All right, we're going to have to put something here to mark our path. Like, I, I, I need something here. Can we craft a torch? Let's make a torch. A torch stand. Wall torch. Yeah, we don't have very much resin, though. We should probably make one of these. We can stick it on the wall. Let's make a couple of those. Because this is a, could potentially be our way out. I don't know. We're going to find out here. And place on the wall. Right here. And then light it. Light it. That'll stay lit for a while. So we can always find our way back here, hopefully. Mm, it's kind of low, though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, well, this isn't working out too well for us right now. There's probably another way out anyway. We just have to find it. But I hear a lot of, like, skittering feet. Look at that giant mushroom. Oh, I hear a growl. Yes, that is growl. It's a very large growl. The Oh, hi! What are you? It's like a spotted... Sp That's a mutated leopard. Shoot him! Oh! Hey! Holy cow, he's tough. Did he run? Wrecked him! Ha ha ha! What did you drop? Ilandium dust. Gross. But I bet I bet we're gonna want it for something. Glad I put that torch down. It gave me enough light to see that guy. He jumped down from above, seemed like. Yeah, lighting is an issue here. We need some kind of a quick lighting, something that we can put down fast. Uh that we don't need, just destroy it. I will blow up a powder keg and destroy this whole place if you don't leave me alone. I will if I have to. So my banana trick didn't really work. I don't need the boar hide. We can drop that. 
Um, we have so many bananas. I'm hungry. Well, there you go. Eat some bananas, dude. Wow, this place is giant. I might just want to make a ladder and get the heck out of here. And come back with some more lighting. I guess we just have to make a lot of wall torches. You know? I'm hurting, aren't I? So we better, better bandage up. Pull my finger! <laughs> I'm down to four bandages. Uh, I got some aloe vera bandages here, too. Okay. Well, then. <clears throat> I need to uh, I need to think about what we're going to do here. I think we fell really far. But I bet this leads out somewhere else. So why don't we just try to find another way out? Without falling down any deeper. So keep your eyes open for another exit. And watch your footing. Ha! Ah! Holy smokes, that guy came out of nowhere. All right, get my knife. My axe. Oh, jeez. Am I hitting him? Hitting him. Ha 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 ha! My war axe. No mess with the Viking. Ooh, what? All right, there's another one out there. This is scary. Because <laughs> I can't see. And I definitely don't have enough bandages. Can we craft more bandages? I don't think so. You need cloth or rags. What do you get rags? Yeah, cloth. Are you serious? You know how hard it is to get cloth? Yeah, that is a long way down, guys. How do we get out of here? Holy cow. I'm, I'm ready to go home now. All right, I need to find where we fell from. Let's get back to my torch. I think I'm going to climb back out and get more better prepared. And we'll go in the other cave entrance. And then we can use our banana trick. Because I didn't I didn't intend to fall. The banana trick. Banana in the tailpipe pipe trick. Uh, old Eddie Murphy joke. Anyway. Um, yeah, I need to find that hole and get out of here.